Hello everyone, I'm Gina Taylor from West Virginia University Extension and today I'm going to show you a few items that are very helpful when you're canning. Maybe not completely necessary, but definitely helpful. Um, first, I want to talk about lids. Canning lids have two parts. They have a flat lid called the flat and they have a ring. And this two-piece contraption um, aids in canning because it's very important to have these two pieces. Um, during the canning process, the air in the jar will come out because this thing is in two pieces. And so when the air comes out, then the lid lifts up a little bit and then during the cooling process, it sucks down to your jar and seals. And so that's why it's very important to have these two parts. This keeps the flat part on during canning. And once the canning is finished and you're getting ready to put your jars away, you can take this ring right off of it. Now, a couple things I want to tell you about lids is we don't use the old fashioned lids anymore. The zinc lids that have the part in the inside, um, those are no longer safe to use. And a lot of people say, well, I've used them my whole life. My grandmother used them and that's okay. I get that. Uh, but now we know better and we can do better. It's the same with seat belts. A lot of kids rode in the back of the car standing up between their parents before seat belts happened. Well, now we know we would never put our kids or grandkids in a car without a seat belt or a car seat. This is basically the same type of thing. You know, we know now what's the safest way to do things and then that's the way we should do them. Um, this is a rather old ring. Um, of course, you never reuse the flat part. Once you use it one time, it should be disposed of. The ring can be used over and over. However, <laughs> once it gets to this state, we really don't want to use it anymore because it can prevent the jar from sealing. So when you have jar lids that look like this, the rings, just toss them in the trash or maybe you can recycle them. All right, next I want to show you a few things that you might need during the canning process, such as a measuring cup, very important. This is a jar funnel and it's very handy because you want to make sure that you get as little food on the jar as possible. So you just set that right inside. It makes a nice open mouth. And then all you have to do is ladle your food into the jar and voila, clean. Now, after you use this a few times in the same load, you're also going to need this thing, which is a towel. It's a clean towel. You can dampen it a little bit. And when you finish filling your jars, just take the damp part of that towel and wipe off the lids or wipe off the rim of your jars to make sure there's no food or debris or liquid stuck on there. Okay, then you can of course put your, put your flat part of your lid on there and screw on the band, finger tight. This little handy thing is for your older type lids that you have to heat up in a pan of water. Um, I really like it very well because it prevents my fingers from getting burned. All you have to do is stick it down in the water. It's a magnet. It picks your lid right up. You can stick your lid on your jar and then you've got that taken care of. Another little tool that I like to use is this. Um, you can get the bubbles out of your jars using this end of it. You just move it around inside the jar a little bit and you know, you can work it up and down. You'll see a lot of the bubbles in your jar. Sometimes you won't see them, but this will help get those out so that your jars process properly. It also has an end where you can see what the proper headspace is. So for example, when you're pressure canning meat or vegetables, you want a one inch headspace. So all you have to do is stick this on the outside of the jar you could put it on the inside too, but this will show you exactly where you need to load the jar with vegetables or meat. Now fruit only requires a half an inch headspace. So you just find the half an inch mark and there you go. So it's pretty much up to the, the large rim here at the bottom. So very handy tool. Another tool that you're definitely gonna to wanna to invest in, and I should tell you that there are kits where you get this item, which is very handy. You get this item, you get this item, and you get a jar lifter. 
And so it's, it's really important that you invest in this little kit because you'll get all the components that you really need for canning. Um, so this is the way the jar lifter works. It's got a rubber coating around the bottom. You just put that right under the rim of your jar and you can pick it right up out of the canner or you can put it in the canner like that. Um, one that I really like is this one because it's just a little bit easier to use. And like I said before, these items are possibly not necessary because, you know, I'm sure that our forebears used a lot of different ways to do this, but this, these items really make the canning process a lot easier. So thanks for watching. Like and follow for more safe canning information and happy canning.